Hello everyone, uh, this is the part 2 of the F16 ICP panel USB controller project. So I start from where we left yesterday and let me see if I can make it a little concise this time. Yesterday it took around 15 minutes for the video so I'll try to run through each and every progress or update on the progress as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, let's start with, uh, so basically uh, yesterday I have made few progress and there were a few hiccups, but, so I'll go through each one of them. Yeah, so I have uh, started designing the uh, Arduino board or the Arduino breakout board where I'll be having all the input connectors and the uh, okay let me kind of, yeah so all the uh, ios will be connected to this uh, child board which which will be sitting behind the parent board uh, so it'll be another 10 mm spacer or a standoff between them and then i'll be having a few sockets over here like three pin sockets for the potentiometers and for row there'll be an eight pin socket sorry four pin socket and for the columns there'll be a eight pin sockets uh the layout is not yet de determined yet so i'll take some time uh i still have to make the arrangement do i need a full board or do i just need half of this section or even a quarter or uh, one third of the entire board so that takes uh, i'll have to plan it out accordingly so but this is the actual dimension where the pro micro sits on the uh, relative to the panel and here is a reverse uh, kind of uh, help me to do the proper wiring so this is a reverse so i can see from behind where it's uh, wires are going so this will help me uh, do the wiring from behind okay to continue uh, Let's uh, show you the progress what I met so far yesterday. Yeah. So here it is. So I started cutting the uh, PCB as per the dimension and did some filing work. And also uh, I had to cut out a few uh, uh, notches for the potentiometer on the side so that they don't obstruct the PCB and also route uh, holes for the square holes for or rectangular holes for the uh, toggle switches and this is the like uh, the progress I had on the PCBs and then coming over next uh, yeah also for the uh, rotary dials on the side the four of them uh, i had to do a cut out circular uh, disc of uh, 40 mm diameter and st stick two of them with a super glue kind of substance and then later on i'll be filing it off creating the notches uh, grip notches and then we'll be connecting it to the potentiometer so uh, this is done quite easy this was not difficult because i already had the Hole cutter. Uh, then next, uh, yeah. Then I started uh, realigning these switches. So I had to uh, like place it so that it sits exactly below the openings, and then solder each of them to the uh, board so that uh, they don't move around and the alignment doesn't go wrong. So I had to do the preliminary solder. So yeah, this is the outcome of the shoulder. So now everything is set properly and I did make sure before uh, soldering that they are properly set it on the board and they are not tilted, which will cause problem when I try to connect the button caps. And this is uh, uh, with the board spaces, uh, the standoffs, 10 mm standoffs added. So this above this uh, another special uh, this thing is stand off there will be this uh, child board so now I'm still planning to use only half of this or use a full board 
because the trailer I need only maybe one third of the space uh, but let me see what comes to be the best option and uh, accordingly I will uh, plan it out again yeah I had to uh, like uh, wrap it with plastics you know so that uh, it doesn't accumulate dust and again uh, it's a bit dusty in Mumbai so uh, whenever I store them outside I usually wrap them up with plastic so that cling film or something like that so that it doesn't uh, the dust doesn't get accumulated otherwise every time I have to clean again with isopropyl or something so that I, uh, the solders uh, soldering happens uh, quite effectively otherwise with dust and debris on the surface the soldering might not work as uh, expected then comes here uh, the main thing yesterday I did show you that I had to add out this uh, disconnects and create this mini record board for this uh, mini uh, four-way toggle switch four-way switches switch actually <laughs> so made few mistakes during soldering or maybe the while gluing the this uh, particular uh, switch on the board uh, there was a slide in maybe in, I don't know it should be sub millimeters like 100 of a millimeter 110 of a millimeter uh, shift happened and uh, one of the contact set between for the uh, uh, circuit uh, connections and I sorted two uh, pins actually and because it was glued I couldn't take it out and literally everything uh, went to the bin now so this one I had to scrap I lost one uh, switch so luckily I had uh, ordered three of them because I knew that something really bad was going to happen so I used the second one and went the traditional way of getting the connection out so I had to uh, redo this entire step again but uh, with the newer approach so here yeah literally I had to uh, as you can see uh, over here yeah I had to literally uh, connect it's an area uh, like uh, solid core wires I had a uh, uh, core wires I got from the uh, LAN cable I cannot get five cable I have some spare lying around and using that I uh, uh, connected each and every uh, all the six connection point to them and soldered them directly to the uh, pins again this was not easy I had few points I had to solder like three four times because they keep falling off because the shoulder didn't happen that effectively but eventually it just met through so luckily uh, all went well and but yeah it was a tedious like heart sinking you know moment because after this I just have one more set of switch left and after that yeah so I'll show you a close up so once I did soldered everything just to make sure that nothing moves around and again I the contacts get disconnected I had to put a hot glue and apply hot glue and just seal all wherever possible the contacts are so everything is like kind of snug fit and doesn't move around and obviously the switch was uh, glued to the board as expected and I have this uh, two razor on the side with which I will be sticking to the acrylic panel okay coming to next uh, after this I think uh, yeah this is uh, pretty much uh, uh, what I have right now so far and uh, like we discussed earlier uh, yeah so circuit maker which I was about to talk yesterday but I didn't have the application open so I couldn't show it so this is where uh, I do all the uh, schematic layout yeah, assuming this is the Arduino microprocessor module and then these are the headers uh, where I'll be connecting all the inputs from the uh, parent board and here is for the uh, LED circuit to power the LED using an external DC 5 volt and these are all the uh, uh, 3 pin inputs from the potentiometers and these are the uh, joystick inputs and I don't have uh, 6 uh, sorry, um, a 6 pin uh, header so socket and header so I had to use uh, 8 pin which I have 
got for the uh, spare one for available from the one I got for the uh, columns. So rows will have four pin headers and then the toggle switches will again use uh, three pin headers. So this is for the uh, schematic. Yeah, I will work on the PCB part and once I have them ready, maybe they will also do that in the next video. Hopefully by then I should have be having most of the uh, circuitry done by then. And yeah, coming over, I think, uh, yeah, so yeah, just to see the, show the size of the uh, switch. This was the, uh, as you can see closely, yeah, this is the micro switch. It's, I would rather call it a micro switch, it's quite tiny. And working on it was really uh, quite handy for me. And also I'll just show you the uh, PCB, sorry, the ICP panel. So it's uh, kind of almost done. The locking part, obviously the buttons and the uh, few parts, the rocker switch, I have to fabricate it myself. So they'll take some time again. So once I have progress on them, I'll show it. But this is the close up of everything. Yeah, I guess uh, for now, for today, uh, this is all I have to show. And uh, once I have a few more progress, I'll uh, keep informing her and updating the channel with the new videos for the same. And until then, thank you everyone for the. And also, obviously, I'll appreciate if you, any, some of you can comment what need to be, you know, anything I can add to make it more interesting. And obviously, any suggestion and advices are welcome. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.